Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining me. This is Sierra from Sierra T Designs, and today I have this Spring Distress Sprayed Leaf Fragments Slimline card to share with you. So let's jump right in. So to start, I am going to create the piece that I'm going to cut my leaves out of. So I have a piece of Distress Watercolor cardstock there, and you see that I misted it with a bunch of water to start. And then I brought in three colors to start here. I have Salvage Patina, Saltwater Taffy, and those are Distress Spray Stains. And then I also have... Uh, flickering candle mica spray which came out at Halloween it was one of the mica sprays that uh, Tim Holtz brought out at Halloween I don't believe you can still get it if I can find anybody selling it I will have it linked down below but I don't believe you can get this anymore you could add wild honey instead which would kind of give you a similar look to the background it just won't give you that same mica shimmer in the background and then I did uh, dry this with my ranger heat tool just because I wanted to do a few more things to it and I get really impatient when I craft so I uh, did heat set this just until it was dry enough for me to do a few techniques on top and you saw me bring in a paper towel just to mop up some of the excess color so I sprayed on some clean clear water there just to Kind of create those water droplet effects and then i am also going to take the saltwater taffy distress spray stain and just flick a little bit onto the background and i'm going to dry that as well and then i am going to bring in my water again and just kind of get little puddles to kind of create different texture in the background now this is what we're going to use to cut out the leaves so how it looks as this big panel doesn't really matter because you're not going to be able to tell once we cut out our pieces but I just, I wanted some added texture in the background. And then we're gonna create our slimline base. So this is a full size of uh, card stock, a full like eight and a half by 11 sheet. And I cut four inches off because I have a small trimmer and that gives me a seven and a half, sorry, a eight and a half by seven inch card base. And then I scored at the three and a half inch mark, making it a three and a half by eight and a half inch slimline card base. That is my preferred slimline size. So that's what I have a tendency towards. I don't think that there's really a wrong way to do it. It's just generally fits in a size 10 business envelope. So then I'm going to create a panel to go behind the leaves once we cut them out. So this is a piece of my hammer mill card stock and I kind of have to eyeball it a bit. I took off about a quarter of an inch and then on the side, it's hard to tell because of course my trimmer doesn't go that long. I do have a 12 by 12 trimmer which I do use sometimes but I didn't in this case and then to add some texture onto that panel I have the Tim Holtz flourish layering stencil and some of the it's I believe the snowfall grit paste uh, again this came out at Christmas um, I don't think you can get it anymore unless you can find it in a store that just still happens to have it it was kind of a one and done but you could use grit paste by itself here it's just that the snowfall one actually has mica glitter in it so or rock candy, sorry, the rock candy glitter is inside of the paste. So, I mean, you could mix up your own by all means. It's just that I have this and I really wanted to use it. So I'm going to use it. And you know how much I love glitter. So I just kind of scraped it on across there with the palette knife. And then I'm going to cover up my little jar with some press and seal to make sure that it stays moist. And then I do have a bathroom off of my office. So I like to put stuff in the sink right away once I've used it. So the palette knife and the stencil right went into some warm soapy water right after I was finished. And I haven't gone and cleaned them yet. I'll have to go and do that here in a few minutes, but I wanted to get the voiceover done first. So I'm going to bring in my Gemini and I have my junior plates there and I'm going to cut out my leaves. So I did cut out all five leaves. These are the Tim Holtz leaf fragment dies. And I cut out all five leaves out of that cool kind of textured colorful background we made and I did pick colors that made me think of spring that's kind of what I was thinking there and the stems on these two leaves got stuck so I just trimmed them out with my uh, mini trim mini snips and then I did want to splash on a little more of the saltwater taffy so I brought in the distress oxide spray for this because I knew it would sit on top better so I just kind of put them back in my splat block box and flicked a little bit on and because I love to mat everything, as you guys know, if you've been with me for a minute, I brought in some pearlescent vellum. This is a the Lawn Fawn version, and I'm going to trim it out with my deck ledge trimmer. This is just, again, to add some texture to it. Uh, it's very subtle. You won't see it easily in the picture. However, I feel like you see it really well when I hold it up in the end and kind of show you the different layers of uh, shimmer and shine in this card. So I did cut down all the edges so that I could have that deck ledge 
edge around and it's just a little bit of something that kind of stands outside of the panel that we created but I just I love details like that I think that it really adds to a card that doesn't have I wouldn't say a lot going on but if you've been with me you know that my cards have a tendency towards you know lots of layers and lots of colors and vibrant things and this was just kind of a little bit of a subtler card for me so I really wanted to add extra texture and different elements kind of going on in that card so you still ended up with this card that's got tons going on it was just a little bit more subdued and then I am going to use my craft pick to poke out all the pieces of the leaves just because I love the look of these you guys know if you've again been with me for a minute you know how much I love this die set uh, I think I've used it in several cards now uh, and I just every time I see it I love it I just I think that it's such a neat die set and leaves are just always awesome like it doesn't matter what color you do you can make it work for any season and any uh, kind of card that you want to create so I do really like these these dies and I do get a lot of use out of them which is good I mean dies are awesome that way why wouldn't you keep using them so I did poke out all those little pieces that were inside of the leaves and then we're going to work on the sentiment so I brought in the honeybee thanks buzzwords honey cuts and I'm going to create uh, a couple of layers there I'm going to cut the word thanks out of white cardstock it's the same hammer mill it was just a piece left when I cut out uh, the panel and I have the same pearlescent piece for the shadow of it and I did cut out the word thanks three times out of the same hammer mill cardstock and I'm going to layer them up and then I have that one shadow out of that same vellum cardstock because the vellum you're not going to see very well right because we are going to put that panel on top of it so you won't end up seeing much of it so I wanted to bring that vellum back in somewhere else you still get that same shimmer and shine uh, but it kind of doesn't take away from how this looks and I did choose to make this white uh, simply because again I just wanted those leaves to stand out I want them to be your focal and I really want them to stand up and be very spring-esque so that's kind of what I was thinking there so I did use my barely art glue because of that fine tip I love it for stuff that's detailed I I find it's a lot easier to use than some of the thicker tipped glues and then I did layer it on top of each other and I will put an acrylic block on top of it to make sure it doesn't move so here I'm just going to adhere my leaves down to my panel I have both the vellum piece and the panel here and I wasn't totally sure if this was gonna work to be honest with you because that grit paste is super textured which is the whole purpose of it I wasn't sure if I was actually going to be able to just glue th the leaves on top of it it did work out really well in the end actually so I was really excited about that but I do put my misty on top of it just to weigh it down so that the leaves don't lift while they're trying to adhere so you can see here I kind of move my acrylic block around to make sure that it's sitting on top of whatever I had adhered just before uh, so that the glue has a chance to grab that texture before it kind of shifts around or kind of let, tries to let go so I did end up weighing it down with my misty just to be safe and I use my misty because it sits on my desk you could use anything that added some weight that was flat on this that's just happens to sit in front of me when I create so it's one of the easiest things for me to grab and there's no rhyme or reason to my layout really uh, I had it all laid out and then I stuck them down differently than I'd had them laid out so I mean <laughs> again it's kind of one of those things right like I like how it looks I think that it turned out pretty cute regardless but uh, I forgot how I'd laid them out so I just <laughs> adhered them down and then here I'm going to adhere my panel to my vellum piece this clip gets cut off at the end there uh, I don't quite know what happened my camera just stopped so you'll see me adhere it down you just won't see me line it up but you know that I will have like shifted it around until I had it lined up on the base or on the panel how I wanted it sorry on the mat and then I am going to adhere my mat directly down to my slimline card base as well the reason that I did not cut the shadow of the word thanks out of my panel is because this is very thin vellum and it because it's so delicate I really didn't want to have a hole in the center of it uh, I know that some people consider that wasteful because you could have absolutely used that for the shadow and generally I would out of most card stocks uh, but I just because it's so delicate and I was concerned about how it was going to take the glue and the moisture I chose not to add that because I felt like it might bubble in the center but you absolutely could I'm just letting you know why I didn't because I know some people do find that wasteful but 
I am of the opinion that it uh, it adhered better. But yeah, so I am going to adhere my thanks directly onto the card front at the lower right corner. And then I'm going to hold it down with my acrylic block to make sure again it adheres. And then of course, because this is me and I can't leave all the shiny things off, I did come in with some uh, Arctic Breeze pearls by Studio Katia and I kind of just adhered them across the panel. There's no real rhyme or reason to how I adhered them. I kind of just place them down and play with the layout until I'm happy with it and then I adhere them down. Uh, it honestly is just what looks good to my eye. There's no real uh, pattern or anything to it. And then I did decide to trim off the little pieces that were hanging off of the card. There's very few, so it's not as if there's much to take off. I mean, I think it was like some stems and the tip of the one bigger leaf, and that's pretty much all that had to go. Uh, this was just what so would be easier to put it in an envelope. Um, otherwise, you could absolutely leave them. I do on some of my cards. And then here I'm going to hold it up so you can see it in all of its glory. Look at that mica shine. Look at that cool grit paste. Look at that uh, subtle shimmer in the pearlescent cardstock behind or the vellum behind the whole panel. I just, I love how this turned out. I think that it's subtle, but subtly beautiful. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'd love to know what you guys think. What do you think of these dyes? I'm pretty much in love with them still. So Thank you so much, guys, for stopping by. I hope you'll consider leaving me a like, leaving me a comment, and consider subscribing. I do new videos every Monday and Thursday. Thank you so much, guys, and I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye for now.